In our last lecture, we talked a little bit about uh, integrity policies and uh, how one might model integrity to the, in, to the extent that, um, as we did with confidentiality, we said that you could assign labels, integrity labels, to subjects and objects, and then you could c compute the dominates relation on those labels. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, several uh, real policies. Okay. These are due to a guy named Ken Baiba, who uh, devised them in 1977, and he had three policies, the low watermark integrity policy, the ring policy, and what was called strict integrity. Now, only one of these has really turned out to be very influential historically, and that's the strict integrity policy. And it's also, for that reason, also sometimes called Bible, the Bible model or Bible integrity. And we're going to talk about uh, strict integrity in this lecture and the other two policies in the next lecture. Okay, so what's the idea? Well, you've got um, an integrity label associated with a subject and with an object. And remember what we want to do. We talked about the meta policy for integrity. We don't want bad information to flow from low integrity levels into high integrity levels. And so what Biba said was, well, why not use the mechanism that we already have in Bell and LaPagula and maybe mess with it a little bit, but come up with an analogous system. And so we came up with these two rules, which were called the strict integrity property and the um, integrity star property. You see immediately the analogy with Bell and Apagula, right? And so this, this uh, excuse me, the simple integrity property says that an object, uh, excuse me, a subject can read an object only if the level of the subject is dominated by the level of the object, right? I always have to think about this. So uh, if, if a, an object is at higher integrity, it's good information from my perspective, and so sure, I can read it. But if it's lower integrity, that means it's uh, less trustworthy than my current level, and so I shouldn't be able to read it. Okay, so that's the simple integrity property. The uh, integrity star property says that I can only write down an integrity. Okay, so you know it, it won't hurt the lower levels if I take my good information and give it to them, but if I give my mediocre information to a higher level, that's liable to to uh, reduce the integrity of that object, and so I can't do that. And you see that this is exactly the the uh, dual of Bell and Apagula. We just changed the direction of the arrows from the simple security property and the and the star property of Bell and Apagula. Okay, so the interpretation of these rules is that um, simple integrity says that I can read information above me, so that's good information. I can pull it down to my level, but I can't write. Uh, I can't read information from below me because that would potentially corrupt me. And the integrity star property says that I can't push bad information from me up. I can pull bad information from down below, but I can't, and I can, and I can push bad information down, <laughs> but I can't push it up, okay? <clears throat> All right, so as with any access control policy, you know, you can, you can model this as an access control matrix, and so, for example, if I have three subjects and three objects with those levels, here's the access control matrix, and you just uh, compute that by applying those two rules that we just mentioned. If you're noticing very carefully what's going on here, uh, you might ask the following question. Suppose these were, this was a Bell and Apagula system and these were confidentiality labels. If that were the case, then we'd have precisely this matrix, except all of the W's would be replaced by R's and all of the R's would be replaced by W's. That's actually what it means to say that strict integrity is the dual of Bell and Lepagula. You simply apply the same rules, but you apply them in the opposite order. Okay, so suppose that we had a system where we were concerned about both confidentiality and integrity. What you might do is apply Bell and Lepagula and by the strict integrity policy, and what would that mean? Well, it would mean that uh, for an access to be permitted, both Bell and Lepagula and Bible strict integrity would have to say that it's okay. So the rules would have to apply. But remember that you can't apply both of those sets of rules to the same set of labels. And so you would have to have confidentiality labels and integrity labels separately 
apply those two rules, and then combine the results. Okay, so what have we said? Well, BIBA strict integrity policy is a uh, mandatory integrity access control policy, which is the dual of Bell and Lepadula. It aims to keep information from flowing up in integrity, just as BLP aims to keep information from flowing down in confidentiality. And since integrity and confidentiality are orthogonal or separate issues, you need different sets of labels for those. And if you want to apply both policies, then you have to combine the two on the different sets of labels. Thank you.